OK, so first of all, we're going to do this using Power Query. So go to Data and Get Data from File and then from Workbook. Then select the name of the workbook that you are in and import it. Then instead of selecting one of the tables or the sheets, select the name of the workbook and then go to Transform Data. Now we have a list of all of the sheets in this workbook and also the tables and the defined names. I only want to have the sheets in my table of contents, so I'm going to filter for just the sheets and OK. Then I'll select the name column and right click and remove other columns, as I want just one column here with the sheet names in it. Then go to Close and Load To. And I will select an existing workbook and the cell reference will be A1 and OK. Now I have a list of all of the sheet names here. I'm going to create a new column and add hyperlinks to it. If I create an example hyperlink, and link it to this sheet here, you can see that inside the hyperlink formula, I need the sheet name with single quotation marks before and after it, and then an exclamation point and a cell reference. So I'm going to create that here. I'll make the hyperlink formula with the sheet name then put quotation marks before and after this, then put in an exclamation point and the cell reference, and close brackets. Now you can't just put text into a formula like this, the text needs to be inside quotation marks. So I'm going to add a set of quotation marks around this text here and then also add a set of quotation marks at the beginning. Then in order to connect the text and the sheet name together, I need to include an AND symbol here. And I also need an AND symbol after the sheet name as well. Then even though you can't see it in this formula here, I also need to include the name of the workbook. And we can use the pound symbol to represent the current workbook so we don't have to type in the actual name and then enter. And now we have all of the hyperlinks here. And if I click on one of these, it will take me to that sheet in the workbook. At the moment, the names of the hyperlinks don't look very nice. So I am going to edit these and add in a friendly name. And that name will just be the sheet name again and enter. And I can still click on these links and they will take me to that worksheet. Now I'll just do some quick formatting. So I'll close this here and go to table design and remove the table formatting. And then remove the filter button and then select the headings and make the font bold. OK, so in this video I have shown you how to make a table of contents with hyperlinks to all of the sheets in an Excel spreadsheet. And that is everything.